Why I love Linux. Number 1, Freedom. Linux gives you all the freedom in the world, you're not forced into updating your system whenever a new update is available, you're not forced to sign into online accounts, you can customize the OS and make yourself feel right at home, and the freedom to do as you please really lets you take ownership and control of the computer, but if you use Windows, you have about 5% total control, and even then, Microsoft are stopping users from using third-party start menus in Windows 10 and Windows 11, and they shove as much telemetry collection bullshit into Windows as possible, to get as much information out of your computer as possible, but none of this is an issue on Linux. Want a different desktop environment? Go and install it. Want to change distros? Go right ahead. Do you want to redistribute an existing distro as your own? You can do that as well provided you follow and abide by the GNU public licensing guidelines. Number 2, Privacy Comes Back With Linux, there is no hidden spyware, telemetry, etc., so there's a very good chance that 99.99% of distros do not collect, store, and send system data back to the developers. However, some exceptions do exist, Ubuntu has a telemetry program that you can opt out of, but Linux Mint has no telemet rebuilt into the operating system at all, so if you're a privacy conscious user, you should think about using a telemetry free, tracking free system. Of course, you're not completely free from surveillance, your ISP can still see your search history, and your browser and applications may still collect and send data to their respective developers, but at least the operating system itself is not selling your data and hagging it like it is going out of fashion. Number 3, Source Code. Linux is open source, meaning anyone with programming skills can dig deep into any distro, modify it, and redistribute it as their own, and this allows you to have complete and total control over the system, you can choose what services, apps, and other things are installed, you can also dig into the source code of the distribution you're using, and change it for the better, for instance, if you want a new feature in a specific distro, you can modify that distro so that it has that feature you really want, but as coding is a skill set that only so many people have, this is obviously not going to be for everyone. The open source nature also allows Linux to be under constant surveillance by the coders, so if malicious code is spotted quickly enough, it can be fixed before it has a chance to wreak havoc on real systems, and for this reason, security updates are pushed out faster to Linux systems, as the source code is completely accessible to anyone and everyone, so it helps developers fix bugs and security flaws much quicker than what you would see with Windows or Mac OS. As those systems are closed source, only the people working at Microsoft or Apple can modify it, and who knows what kind of dirty malicious code lurks beneath those stinky operating systems, Linux is clean and free of junk. Number 4, Revival of Older Hardware Got an old laptop or PC that's beginning to feel sluggish or slow? Linux might be a game changer. There are many lightweight distributions designed to make older and less powerful computers more usable again, which can really help you extend the life of older machines. This also helps prevent more e-waste, and if more people buy older computers to save them, that would be fantastic to see. And as Windows 10 goes on of life next year, many are worried about the amount of PCs that will go to landfill, but there are many older machines for sale on eBay, Amazon, and other online stores and marketplaces, so if we can save more older computers from landfill, then please do so. Finally, in at number 5, a great community. Linux is full of diverse and friendly communities, of course, you get the odd rotten egg here and there who might be of no help, but lots of Linux users share their experience with Linux, and they like to help others troubleshoot problems, but because there are so many different distributions out there, it also makes troubleshooting more difficult, although with enough searching, you can find the answer to the problem, hopefully. This large and open community also allows for everyone to share their opinions on different distributions, and it creates a very nice little space where us Linux users can all chat to each other, but the majority of that is done through comments or posts on social media, or on Linux forums, so if you're prepared to make the switch to Linux, I recommend you do so, 
and to get you started, I highly recommend you try out Linux Mint, one of the easiest and best beginner-friendly distros, especially for an ex-Windows user. Linux Mint makes transitioning to Linux relatively painless and easy, and it looks and feels a lot like Windows, so you will find it comforting and familiar, which will hopefully help you settle in on Linux a bit easier. And granted, some software will not work on Linux out of the box, but there are various methods which allow you to retain access to Windows software. Although you should really try to embrace the free and open source software developed for Linux, because some of it is amazing, and comparable to proprietary counterparts, and some exceptions exist where the free stuff can be better than paid for proprietary software. And if you want to switch to Linux, check out my Linux Migration Guide and Survival Guides. These can be found in the playlist section of my channel, where you should see a playlist titled, Linux Migration Guide, or something like that, or you can just search for Linux Migration Guide or Survival Guide on my channel. Anyway, that will do it for this video folks. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.